why does my shirt look like somebody yoked me up? Like what? Okay. Only been a few hours when it felt like days. Only been days when it felt like months. Only been a couple for you, only go like once. Life moves fast and you do what you want. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I hope y'all are doing well. Happy Sunday. So I just posted a vlog today. If you don't realize my posting days for vlogs are Sunday, usually pretty much I think every video at the moment is going to be posted on Sunday just until like, you know, I get enough time to edit and post like a second video during the week. But Sundays you're gonna be seeing your girl so I just well not just I posted the vlog earlier today at 1 30 right now it is 8 53 and what I'm realizing is that um, more people are watching earlier like as soon as it drops more people are watching the impressions click through rate is increasing so that means basically more people are choosing to watch the video which is so nice and also the average view duration which is the time so like the average view duration will be like five minutes like so more people are watching five minutes of the video that's going up so i'm very very happy and thankful and grateful that y'all are watching for real i noticed like every video everything is like climbing 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 and i'm so happy about that because that means that you guys are really enjoying the vlogs so i'm really happy for that and i'm i'm grateful so thank you guys so much for watching the videos just make sure you know you're liking subscribing sharing it with your family and your friends you know let people know you know just share it just share it um if you love your girl share it okay i also wanted to talk about monetization so some people have asked me in person like how come you don't put the um the ads on your videos anymore because I told you guys at the beginning of last year that I was monetized. So I actually am not monetized anymore because I didn't post for like 10 months. So so that happened uh, 2022. Um, I had actually had intentions of posting a video just so that, you know, I won't um, lose that feature because they did send an email saying, hey, we noticed that you haven't posted in a while. You, you, you can potentially lose your monetization feature. So post the video before this certain date and that wouldn't happen. And I didn't, so I lost the feature. And it's, it was kind of a bummer. Like, I feel like I had so much other stuff going on at the time that it didn't really like kick in. Like it didn't really hit me. So, um, it was it was, like I didn't really you know think too much about it I'm kind of sad about it now I'm not like you know falling out crying and throwing up but I'm okay it's just like damn you know like I worked really hard for that and I basically just threw it away but it's okay you know we're working to get it again so I kind of have to just do everything all over again um i already have the amount of subscribers that i need it's just the watch hours so it's really important for you guys to watch share it you know um just turn it on the tv and just go about your day okay <laughs> just watch it and share it and all that stuff so that your girl can you know add this to her resources as a, another source of income so that i can do more and you know all that stuff anyway but Either way, I'm really happy with the growth that I'm, you know, experiencing on my channel. I'm happy that you guys are enjoying it. I'm just happy that I still have my little community here. We're growing and I'm happy. So yeah, that's my little spiel for YouTube. Also, I wanted to show you guys some new gadgets that I got. So last vlog, I was telling you guys that I got some new equipment for my channel and a few other stuff came in today actually no one came in yesterday and then 
another one came in today so the first thing that i want to show you guys is this light for my phone so it's a mobile phone led light from newer i got this on amazon i'll link everything down below um got this from newer i usually get my ring lights from newer so i feel like the quality is going to be just as good but we're gonna see so yeah let's see okay so all right so we're gonna look at that just now <laughs> i just want to open it okay so this is the light and it's supposed to be like a charged like something that you can charge which i like because i don't want to have to change out no batteries um oh okay so it has a little battery checker thing there uh oh i probably should have oh duh all you gotta do is do that stupid put it on to the camera we're gonna have to figure out because the camera's at the front so we're gonna have to figure out a way okay if i put it here huh plug it in to charge it so i'll charge it and then show you guys i have to all my stuff is actually outside my computer and stuff because i was editing um so everything's outside but next thing is this gadget here so what this is is actually a suction basically to put to like a wall or a mirror or whatever it is to put my phone like this so i can also like record on my phone like let's say i want to do like a skincare routine and i want to film it in my bathroom now i can prop it up to the mirror so i can also see myself prop the phone up to the mirror and i can record my skincare routine in a nice bathroom background and then i also have the light because i actually tried to record my skincare routine to include in the last video that i uploaded and the lighting was so horrible it was so horrible that i could not put the footage in the video so yeah that video could have had more stuff but i number one i didn't know how to change the settings on my camera to adjust to the lighting in the bathroom um so that was one mistake of mine and then number two i just had no extra lighting so i was really annoyed about it um so i just cut it out the video so yeah so i'm excited to use these two i'm gonna charge this and then show you guys how it works a little bit later but i did want to come and show you guys my new stuff because i'm super excited about it i'm excited to like really do this and like stop being scared and just you know take a chance on myself and like really do it because i know i can i know i can yeah so i just wanted to show you guys that and tell you guys thank you so much for watching my videos thank you for supporting i love when you guys tell me how much you enjoy the videos put it in the comments <laughs> put it in the comments so i can i love getting notifications that someone commented on my video i love it like y'all please comment like i love the comments i love it okay it's fun to like interact with y'all i'm gonna start like writing my own comments and pinning them so we can like i don't know it'll just be a thing and we can start the conversation or whatever I'm, I'm just excited i'm excited to like really start to do my thing and give you guys more content on instagram i also have a tiktok that i don't use uh tiktok instagram and youtube like i really want to do this like i'm excited so so tomorrow tomorrow is monday i'm going to work of course but i'm also going to um i'm going to the nail salon because my toes if i show y'all my toes y'all are gonna be so embarrassed and disappointed and it's gonna be horrible like it's really embarrassing like and then i had these house shoes that my dad got me like they're black so the fur on the inside is also black i think actually i don't even know but the shoe is black and it's been staining my feet so i can't wear that anymore and then i get white toes i get white polish on my toes so you're not about to stain my white polish like that's 
not okay. I'm gonna get my toes done tomorrow because, and I feel like it, 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 bleh, what? I feel like it will be convenient because when I'm coming home from work, I have to pass the stop on the train, so I might as well just get off and go to the nail salon. And it's gonna be open when I get there, so it just makes sense, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do, because I keep like wanting to do it on the weekend, but then when the weekend comes, I just don't wanna go. So I'm gonna do it on my way home. It just makes more sense. So that's what I'm doing. If y'all hear my mom, I'm so sorry. Like I'm really trying to talk over her, but my mom is so loud. I'm actually just chilling right now. If you know me, you know, Sundays are my days. Like it's my day. It's my day. <laughs> Especially now that I'm trying to do more and I'm also working on the weekdays. I need my Sundays. Like I low-key don't want to talk to nobody. I still do, of course. Like I'm not, you know. But Sundays are my day to really just sit down, relax, watch some TV, like be in bed and chill because I gotta start a whole nother work week. Like this working business is really something. Like <sighs> for me. It's just the fact that I have to go to the same place every single day and deal with other people, like forcibly, like I have to do this, is really, really like too much. It's too much for me, like I can't. So I need my Sundays to really relax and just recoup and like start over. And I think I also wanna like kinda plan some content, like see what, I can do in the meanwhile. Um, I wanna post a vlog every week, but some weeks I just don't be doing any anything. Like last week, I told myself I'm gonna vlog every day just to see how the vlog turns out. Some days I did miss, yes, but um, I tried and it was a really short vlog because I really wasn't doing much. And yeah, so it's like, some days, some weeks, it probably won't be a vlog. And I wanna be able to post a video every week. And I just have to accept the fact that some weeks it won't be a vlog. Um, but I wanna get to the point where I can post two videos a week where one will be just like a regular content video and the other video will be the weekly vlog. And so I'm gonna try to like plan out some stuff that I can do um and like get done at a timely manner so i can edit it and have it posted uh at a timely manner as well so we'll see but that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna chill you know straighten up my room and stuff get ready for tomorrow i might drink some tea and i'm just gonna chill chill plan some videos and that's it so i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow um at the nail salon i'm gonna try to do a little recording that and then from there we'll see how the rest of the week goes so yeah that's it <laughs> come on this high's going down you smell it <laughs> yeah you smell it <laughs> yeah uh. don't leave your girl around me true player for real that's my nigga for real uh. let them know situation will arise in our lives but you gotta be smart about it celebration with the guys i sacrifice because i knew you could not sleep without it meanwhile i
I look so like every time I come home from work I'm like this is how I look every day like who is this girl like this is not me <laughs> I'm fighting for my life <sighs> I just got home y'all as y'all saw I was at the nail salon don't judge my toes y'all saw my toes my toes are long okay don't judge them they still cute I'm tired of shoes staining my toes. Like, I'm tired of it. Because why do my toes look like this and I just got it done? It's okay. I'm gonna wash them tonight, watch. And I'm gonna show y'all. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Today, what? Well, today wasn't bad, actually. Today was not a bad day. Um, I went to work, of course, y'all. Y'all know that. I go to work every day. Um, and that's it. So, I never told y'all, but I got some new Uggs. I, here's the deal, right? I wear Uggs every single day. Like, Uggs, to me, is a comfort thing. Like, you know how people have comfort shows and their favorite um, blanket and stuff like that? Like, Uggs, it's a comfort thing. Like, I have to have Uggs. And so I needed a new pair of black Uggs. Decided to wear it today because it wasn't raining. Mind you, I've been putting this off for about two months. I've had these sitting in the box for like two months. And I just did not, I don't know, I didn't want to let go of my old Uggs. That's the problem because I'm so attached to them. So I finally put it on today. So that's fine, but the only thing is if you know uggs like especially black uggs they stain like new ones stain your foot so i didn't really think it through when i knew that i wanted to go to the nail salon today that i should probably just stick with my old uggs because they don't stain my foot anymore did not think about that so yeah now my nice freshly painted white toes are stained it's okay i'm gonna wash them tonight maybe i could like wipe them off with alcohol does that do anything to the i think that's fine right i don't know i'm about to take off my clothes so give me a second this is another thing that i have to do as soon as i get home i need to take my clothes off like i need to take my clothes off i cannot sit in my work clothes i will die i will pass out i really think i'm about to like rinse my foot off please hold if i show y'all my toes like they don't even they don't even look like i just got it done and why does my shirt look like somebody yoked me up like what okay i had a good day today i'm not about to ruin it by looking into this camera i'm just gonna go eat because i also did not eat today so let's go child let's go I got kava. Let's go in the kitchen. And what I should have done, what I should have done was tell the lady to um to wrap my feet. Like I remember she did that one time when I was wearing Uggs. That would have been perfect. Like just wrap my feet. That's what I should have said. Daddy? Hi grandma. I wanna show y'all my um my food so i got some kava let's see if it will what's going on what's the problem can you see ciao anyway if you don't know kava is basically like mediterranean chipotle so you just choose what you want in a bowl or whatever and that's it so this is how my bowl looks i don't know if it looks appetizing to anyone else but mm, it's so so good i get brown rice half brown rice half splendid greens i get harissa chicken i think it's called it's the spicy one and i get um Two tzatziki sauce because you could choose like three, I think, sauces or whatever. I get, I just get two tzatziki. 
I got two scoops of corn, one scoop of tomatoes and onions, and um, yogurt dill. So um, I don't know if y'all know, but when I'm sitting down and I'm eating, I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to be on the phone. I'm that's not me. I want to sit down, watch a show, and eat my food in peace. Especially when I just get home. So that's what I'm about to do. I'll talk to y'all just now. Um, and yeah. Oh, so before I um before I relax and stuff, I want to tell y'all about my favorite juice, Tazo green tea actually let me go get the bottle let me just go stop being late so this is the green tea if you go to starbucks then you probably know about tazo they sell the brewed tea like in bottles and this is the green tea it has um spearmint and lemongrass in it it's so good if you're a tea person and you don't like your juice too sweet this is literally perfect i could drink this whole bottle by myself <laughs> and it's 70 calories in um a serving size so what my friend taught me was to not drink your calories so basically just drink water i'm a drink girl so i like i love water i drink water all the time but i like specialty drinks like i like drinks so it's kind of hard sometimes, but this is really good because you can have a cup of it and it's only 70 extra calories. To me, that's really good because if you look at other drinks like Snapple or Minute Maid or any of those other ones, it's packed with calories. So don't say I didn't tell you. Okay, y'all. Uh, hey. <laughs> I feel like this was the last place y'all seen me, I think. Not even sure, but I'm actually about to edit the vlog right now. Today is Wednesday, February 1st. Uh, I did not vlog yesterday. Yesterday was the first day of, what do we call it, to censor it. Um, my monthly, I guess? I don't know, my period. So I was not feeling it yesterday. I had a really tough day <laughs> had a really tough day yesterday like it was pretty hard so i woke up and this is tmi okay so disclaimer this is tmi but my sheets were a mess i said okay no problem we're gonna go to work went to work work was really hard like i kind of felt like offended by everything like i feel like i don't know like it was hard i feel like I just wasn't being talked to in the nicest way. And I feel like because, you know, it's that time of the month, my emotions were a little bit off balance and I was very offended. So that's what happened. <laughs> so then I came home, I had French fries, I had McDonald's actually. If you don't know, French fries, is a thing for me like I can eat french fries every day I literally almost bought french fries today but I had some self-control and I ate food at the house so yeah but I had french fries yesterday it was wonderful and then I came home and just I just chilled I just relaxed I watched Law and Order like I really just chilled so that was yesterday, I did not do anything. Today, I worked from home. So this is actually the first I'm seeing myself for the day in the viewfinder, because when I work from home, I just get up out of bed and just go. <laughs> like I don't, like no one's seeing me, no one cares. So this is how I look, this is me. That's what's been going on, I just got off work. It is 5.24, I finished on time at five who that i'm pretty sure that's uncle to uncle peter bet let's bet this is what he does who is it it's uncle peter i know it's him i know it's him i know it's him watch watch just watch he would have been up here already it's not him hmm i don't know but anyway so what was i saying 
Oh yeah, so I just got off work. It is 5.26. I got off at 5. Um, today was okay. It wasn't that bad. I love working from home. Like, I just feel comfortable. Like, I'm in my comfort zone. So, I be knowing what I'm talking about a little bit better. So, today's actually my dad's birthday. And I kind of feel bad because we didn't get to plan anything for him. Like, so my brother's birthday is the 27th of January. And then my dad's birthday is the 1st of February. So, it's kind of like right into his birthday. And we didn't really get to plan anything. And then also my mom is working. So we didn't really do anything so i'm kind of like what should we do like should we order food or something we should have at least got a cake like we could have ordered a cake he's not a big cake eater though what would he like he likes pizza i don't know <laughs> but i want to do something but i don't really know i don't really know what to do maybe this weekend no, my mom's working this weekend. Maybe Friday. Friday? Because my mom is off on Friday. So we might be doing something on Friday. But, yeah. So I'm just gonna chill. No, I'm not gonna chill. I'm gonna edit today's video. Not today. I'm going to edit the vlog. This vlog. So we can have it up on time. On Sunday. Y'all, I done started making chicken wings. And I didn't even show y'all. But I'm making chicken wings in the air fryer and making honey hot wings because honey hot wings are my favorite wings. Why? Because I'm from Atlanta. Yeah. <clears throat> I look really, really crazy. Like this is probably going to be the most like TMI, I look crazy, don't show your friends kind of vlog because why do I look like this? Mm. Why did I show my crusty toes at mm. nail salon like that? I say, I say, I ask myself that question every day. Why do you look like that, damn? My good God in heaven. You want to show them your spot? Yeah. Your... <laughs> Let them know I'm gonna, that. I'm going to shut up. You know? It's very much a TMI vlog, but it's okay. Because we're vlogging. We're sticking to it. Let the vlog, my dear. Let the vlog. Mr. Banati Globe and the dance of the do, but they got to wind up on me. So, but the Hadaba Hagada for the head of the Hagada Lime up at me. Okay, first of all, look at my chickens. They look good, huh? It's honey hot. I showed y'all. So, our question. Oh, wait, I didn't introduce you to the vlog. Okay, guys. Yes. Wait, my cousins watch this. I can't say that. They got it. People need to know. Y'all, this is my cousin. Oh wait, hold on, we gotta block Jace. This is my cousin. Oh, I can see myself. Yeah. 
That is my cousin Nia. Me and Nia talk every, no, we don't talk every day. We talk every other day. But I can't live without her. Isn't that crazy? I think about you every day. Yes, yeah. I think about you too. Aw, yeah. Remember when I was telling y'all that I was living in Atlanta for a month? That's where I was. So we want to know what perfume smells like the body butter from Fenty Skin. The new one that I showed y'all last vlog with the pink, you know, bottle. Yeah. What smells like that? I got to go on a, um, a hunt. You know what smells like that? The perfume that I made. So I should go make a perfume? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why would you eat bone marrow? Cause it's so good. What is that? It's like, you know the inside of the bone? Yeah, wow, that's nasty. It's so good. And squid, what was it? Squid ink pasta. Squid ink, squid ink. They took that off because those are very offensive names. <laughs> Why is it offensive? They nasty and people, the people, think y'all are invading the animals. You're going too far. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to me. Hey y'all, today is Saturday. Today is February 4th? Yes, February 4th. Saturdays are usually my rest days, my edit days, just getting the vlog ready for tomorrow because I usually post my vlogs on Sunday. Um, today though, I am going to clean this room because like during the week, I just be so over it. I just throw everything on the floor. It's not that bad, but I need to sweep. I need to change my sheets and, um, you just pick up everything. Just pick up the room, you know? So I think I'm gonna just, you know, have y'all with me while I do a little bit of this. Should I just put on a bra just so that, you know, this is really a struggle because I want to be decent on the camera with y'all. I also want to be comfortable in my own home. So it's like a constant battle for me. Like, do I just say F it and y'all be okay with seeing, seeing my chain hang low, if you know what I mean? Or do I just be respectable and put on a bra it's like y'all know i'm a girl y'all know sometimes it don't be sitting up high y'all know i got stuff to do around the house like i'm in my home so i kind of battle with like what do i do you know i'm gonna be respectable i'm gonna put on a bra just know that i'm not happy that i have to do that okay i'm actually gonna put on this bra that i got from skims i i never did the skims haul and I just don't, um, I never did the Skims haul and I just don't know if you guys still want to see it because it's still stuff that I bought that I haven't even tried yet. So it's still valid. Like I can still do the Skims haul. Like literally, no windows are open. Like my room is right next to the, the road, but I'm on the third floor. Like I'm high up. I live in a high rise if you ask me. <laughs> But why is it so loud? Like, can somebody please explain to me why is it so loud? Yeah, if you guys want the Skims haul, please let me know in the comments. Like, please put it down there. I know sometimes, you know, people don't like to comment and stuff like that. But please comment so I can know what y'all want from me. Like, can y'all tell me, hey, we want to see the Skims haul. Hey, can you show us what you've been buying recently online? Can you tell us what your skincare routine is? Has it changed? Like, can you, can y'all help me out? Put it in the comments. What do you want to see so I can know what my audience wants to see? Because I see y'all watching. I see the watch time going up. I see, I see everything is increasing because y'all like what y'all see. So please tell me what else you would like for me to do so I can do that for you. But yeah, I'm going to put this on. I know it looks like it doesn't fit, but it actually does. And it's actually really comfortable. So I'm about to put this on, give me a second. Okay, this is better. 
just so that nothing's like falling to the ground and scaring y'all okay first thing i'm gonna do is take my sheets off my bed and then i'm gonna put them in the wash because i need them to and then we're gonna sweep and just pick up everything off the floor I just finished pretty much cleaning up um, I sweeped you guys saw I cleared up my vanity um, I'm washing my sheets right now so I'm still laying on my bare mattress <laughs> and I'm so the sheets are washed they're in the dryer and then I also put another load in of dark clothes so that's in the wash right now and then I'm gonna do my colored clothes then we're done with laundry and I'm going to put the sheets on my bed. And then I want to show you guys my room because I've never done a room tour. I told you guys that I moved into a new room, but I never showed you guys the room because it's always been messy. Not really messy, but you know, like it's not like, oh, let me show YouTube good, you know? So it's going to be good today. So I'm going to show you guys everything. And I just ordered some sushi. So... I don't think I mentioned this to y'all, but I am, I have been trying to not spend a lot of money on food. If you know me, you know, like, I'm gonna spend some money on some food. <laughs> but I'm really trying to just cut down on doing that and save money because I know I spend a lot of money on food. And I know if I save that money, I can have a lot more money. And I did really good this week. So, when I go to work, I actually don't eat at work. I eat when I come home just so that I can save money. And then also I've been trying like intermittent fasting. So it pretty much helps. Like it's like a win-win. So that's what I've been doing. The first day, I think I showed you guys that I had kava. That kava was actually free. So when I went to kava, I was fully prepared to pay, to pay for my food. But I always use my any okay so anything that i buy i have the app for it because i'm gonna get some points and my cousin nia she actually taught me that always use the app anywhere you go use the app so you can get points and sooner or later you're gonna be able to get something free so that's what i've been doing and every time i go to kava and i haven't been in a long time i use my phone i use the app and get points so i said hey can i give you my phone number to get points and he's like yeah sure so gave him my phone number and he was like oh do you want to use your free reward i was like yeah i didn't even know i had a free reward on kava so i used it and then i was supposed to pay an extra four dollars because i got i think i got extra rice and um the spicy chicken or whatever when he was like trying to put it in or whatever it wasn't working so he was like it's all right whatever it's okay you got it i was like huh he's like no i was like you sure he's like yeah because it's trying to make you pay full price and you already got it free so it's okay whatever 
free kava. And this is why I always tell people, whenever you are shopping somewhere, get the app because there's always deals on the app. You can always get something free. You rack up points so you could end up getting free stuff. Like it makes sense. If you're trying to save, get the app for everything that you buy. Every website you go on, every store you go into, get the app. So I got that for free. And I think the day after, because that was the day I started my period, I was craving french fries, so I got french fries, so. But other than that, I didn't buy any food. And then yesterday I cooked, I showed you guys a little bit of that because we had a little um, birthday thing for my dad. So I haven't been buying food, so I figured today, since it's Saturday, which is what I usually do on Saturdays, I kind of just relax and allow myself to indulge a little bit. So I got sushi. I love sushi. So when the sushi comes, I'm going to show you guys what I usually get. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm chilling. I saw this commercial for this TV, for this show on HBO called The Last of Us. I'm about to see if it's good. I like zombie apocalypse um futuristic um stuff like sci-fi i love stuff like that like if you're recommending a show to me if it's sci-fi i want to watch it like if it's like some of my favorite shows are the 100 grim um things on that line that's what i like and i also like medieval shows so like game of thrones or there's this show i think on stars called um outlanders Ugh, cannot wait for it to come back i think we're on season six we're waiting on to come back so good i love stuff like that so like swords like oh we're about to be at war like i love stuff like that and i so it's either it's like very <laughs> it's a very wide gap so i like either medieval shows like game of thrones and stuff like that or i like sci-fi futuristic stuff like the 100 and 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 zombie shows and stuff like that so it's very very wide but that's the kind of stuff that i like so i'm about to check out the last of us and chill i need to get some water i didn't drink enough water yesterday and today so yeah and i think that's it i feel like there's other stuff that i wanted to talk to you guys about i actually want to talk to y'all so yeah let's chat let's chat um what did i want to say so okay so i work every day monday to friday and usually when i come home from work i'm very tired i don't want to do anything i just want to sit and just unwind because i'm the type of person that is easily overwhelmed like when i'm out of my comfort zone i need a moment to recharge and like get back to my normal grounded self so like being at work is not my comfort zone like yes i'm comfortable at work like i'm not you know it work is not weird but i would much rather be at home be in my own space where i'm comfortable so i it's very draining like i'm very tired whenever i get home because i'm i've been overstimulated i'm overwhelmed and i just want to you know be at peace in my home and so when i get home i don't want to do anything but i'm really trying to find the balance between unwinding and also not leaving everything to be done on saturday and sunday because when saturday and sunday comes i can't relax like i can't just sit in bed the way i want to all day and that's probably also not healthy but at the same time i am easily overwhelmed and i need time to myself so i'm trying to find the balance between the two and then also leaving time to spend with my family spend with spend time with my friends and like call my friends and you know talk to them and stuff like that because that's another thing that i really want to try to do is build my relationships with the people that i love i'm always like falling out of touch with people and losing people in my opinion because i'm not good at keeping in touch and it's no it's nothing like that has to do with them it's me like i'm just not good at keeping it in touch i'm not a good texter i'm not good on the phone like but i'm really trying to be better at it because i'm a good person i don't think i'm you know boring i don't think that i'm like so awkward to the point that i can't have a conversation 
it's just that sometimes I just be needing my space and then I take so much of my space that I don't have any for anybody else. So I'm trying to get myself out of this thing where I'm just always overwhelmed, always overstimulated, always want to be by myself. I'm trying to really like be a better person. <laughs> so I'm, I, I want to find the balance with that. Um, next next week so today is saturday starting on monday i really want to designate certain tasks i hate when like s's have to go after an s so like tasks masks i hate that i hate those words anyway so i want to start doing that like designating certain things to do during the week so that on saturday i can chill I can relax. I don't have a bunch of laundry to do. I don't have to clean my whole entire room. Or like, you know, I just want to chill when Saturday and Sunday comes. Um, so that's what I really want to try. Yeah, so that's that. Also with the vlogs, like, I'm really trying to vlog. Like vlog everything. Um, I want to always have the camera on me because I want to get moments. I feel like because I work every day, I'm not like one of these established vloggers where they, you know, this is, they do this for a living. They don't have to go to work every day and whatever. Like they make their own schedule so they can choose to do what they want to do every day. With me, it's a little bit different. I'm new here. I'm new in town. <laughs> So I still live a regular life. I still have to go to work every day. So a weekly vlog isn't going to be number one as consecutive as I would like it to be. And then it's also not going to be as fun and interesting as I would like it to be. But what I'm trying to tell myself is I'm the personality here. I'm the main character. So I have to make it interesting i have to make it what i want it to be and one of the things that is important in that is me just showing me like showing my personality showing how i am in my everyday life like that's the most important thing with a re with a weekly vlog so i want to do that i want to show how goofy i am all the time like literally when the camera's off i feel like i'm i'm myself on the camera obviously but when the camera's off, I be missing moments. Like, I be missing things that I say. Like, I really be saying some real goofy stuff. I be forgetting to, like, say things to the camera. Like, when I'm thinking about it in the moment, I forget to, like, tell the camera. And I really want to have this camera on me all the time so that I'm not missing stuff. And then I could really give you guys a real peek into my life on a daily basis give you guys a nice interesting vlog even though i'm not i might not be doing everything every day or you might just see me in the house for most of the vlog until maybe the weekend when i go out or whatever but i want to be more intentional about this vlogging thing and i want to be more like out loud about it like i want to vlog in public i want to take the camera in public i want to be talking like have it while i'm outside like talking to you guys or whatever so i'm really i've really been trying if you notice this week it's really kind of been just really raw really tmi like just me being me because i feel like that's what people want to see that's what i want to see when i watch vlogs and i don't want to just give you guys the same thing over and over again and I want it to be about me. Like, I want it to be real. I want it to be raw. I want it to be honest. Of course, I'm going to protect myself. But y'all are watching me for a reason. So if it's not interesting, then it's no point. So I've really been thinking about that every day. And I'm really proud of myself for making some type of progress. I feel like I've been making progress, especially with this week. I feel like I've recorded... In, in ways that I usually wouldn't because I'm nervous about what other people are gonna think. And I feel like recently I've kind of been challenging that. I don't want to think as much about what people think. Of course, I'm gonna protect myself. I'm not gonna be out here looking crazy, but 
this is real life and y'all are probably doing the same thing I'm doing making the same mistakes I'm making or looking just as ugly inside as I do like I'm a real person so why fake that like why not be honest about it you know so yeah I'm just happy that I feel like I'm making progress y'all can let me know in the comments how you feel about the vlog let me know what you want to see and you know stuff like that so yeah I've also been thinking about all the content I want to make I have to make content technically for two Instagram pages one YouTube page and then in the future it's going to be three Instagram pages and a child anyway I've just been thinking about it thinking about what I want to do I really want to sit down one day and just like really plan stuff out um and just you know really really get it together this camera really just allows me to spill and I mean talking to my friends and stuff that's fine you know it's great actually I enjoy that but sometimes you just need to hear yourself like hear your mind like let everything out that you've been talking about and vlogging really allows you to do that so yeah and i'm th thank y'all for listening to me just rant you know very random but here we are so yeah i'm just waiting for my clothes to finish and then also waiting for my food to come but i'm gonna start this show i keep doing this thing where i think i'm recording but i'm not so to repeat myself i just finished making my bed i washed my sheets as i showed you guys well i told you guys um they had a stain on them the stain did not come out i know i needed shout but shout we don't have any more so i just figured use enough bleach and it'll be fine wrong so i have to rewatch wash them it's okay because i have more white sheets like i am i have white sheets so it's okay it's fine but i'm gonna show you guys my room now because it's finally clean it's finally decent enough to show you guys so yeah let's go okay so basically i'm at the door right now this is you know where i walk in you guys have seen that before so when i turn the corner of course this is <laughs> the uh right side of my room of course my closet you guys have seen that already and this is my bed i can actually tell you guys where i got everything from so the actual bed itself you know bed head and you know frame and whatever is from from wayfair it's cool it's lasted i've had it since 2016 2017 it's cool um but it's not the best quality but it, it does the job it's never broken or nothing like that um this duvet cover is from william sonoma i actually got the recommendation from the glam twins yes these pillows i love these pillows um they are from target these are also from target these are from amazon this is also from target i believe this is from amazon i think it comes with that this chocolate set right here so that's the bed this side is the left side and oh I look crazy so we're just gonna stand here so this mirror is actually from Wayfair as well I pretty much got all of my furniture from Wayfair this mirror is great quality though so if I can find links of course I'll link everything um great great quality and you guys know I have these two large windows. Um, these curtains are from JCPenney, actually. My mom got them for me. Um, yeah, they're really good. They're blackout curtains and they're beautiful. I think it's called Pearl. The color of it is called Pearl. I'll see if I can link it. This clock is also from Wayfair. It broke, but it's my fault I broke it the day that I got it because I was so excited I ripped the plastic off and broke the hands this vanity <laughs> this vanity is from Wayfair as well it is great quality it hasn't broken or anything 
I have just done a lot of damage to the desk itself. Um, in my old room, it used to be right next to my bed. So I used to put cups and stuff here, which is kind of crazy. Of course, I told you guys last vlog. No, yeah, last vlog. I uh, got this from Amazon. It will be linked again. My vision board fell over. I keep my vision board here because um, I look at it every day and it kind of reminds me of what I'm working toward. So I like it here. I'm going to try to see if I can, I don't know, prop it up somewhere else. But for now, it's here and I'm okay with it. Usually, I would not be okay with anything out of place, but I'm learning to let go. I'm learning to let go. So here is my draw. I call it my draw or... <laughs> I know people call it a dresser, so we'll call it a dresser. Also got this from Wayfair. It's okay quality. It's broken a few times. That second draw has definitely broken. So yeah, I don't like this setup. Just so we all know, this is not me. I'm fighting for my life. This is my jewelry box. These things are sunglasses. These, this is also a watch and bracelet thing that my mom bought. These errands actually belong in here. I just didn't, I didn't do anything with that. And then like, I need to find a place for these, so. This candle, I got it for free when I bought my dad a watch for Christmas. Bath and Body Works, this is Ocean. This is my cable box. I keep this, well, I used to keep it because I did not like when the light would show through, but this doesn't have such a big light, so it's fine. <laughs> I just keep it now. So this is my perfume set. My perfume set. Let's just move these out the way. It's looking kind of crazy right now. I haven't fixed it in a while, but these are my perfumes. This is still in the box because I'm still emotionally attached to the box because my dad got it for Christmas for me and I never told him anything about getting this for me, but He's a great listener and I really, really appreciate that. So I'm just stuck. <laughs> and um, this candle is Laundry Day from Bath & Body Works. I like sweet scents for the winter, but I put these scents up for like everyday use. So it's no longer Christmas and stuff like that. So I put these up, which is, you know, what I like for the rest of the year. But um, my TV, I actually got this for myself during the pandemic, I think, from Best Buy. It was on sale. <laughs> but that is it. That is my room. I really, really like my room. Um, when I first moved into this room, I was having a really, really hard time adjusting, but that was because I was having a hard time in life in general. And, and the day that I moved in was kind of, it happened really fast. Um, my mom just woke me up one day and she's like, you're moving into the new room. And it kind of caught me off guard and I'm already not good with change. And this change kind of happened like the day it happened like out of the blue for me. I already knew I was moving into the room. We were renovating it and everything. So I knew that it, it was happening, but that specific day I didn't know. So I kind of had a hard time adjusting to the room. But I'm good now. I love my room. It's my place of peace. I love being in here and yeah, so that's my room. It's cute. I think it's the best looking place in the house. <laughs> so I'm gonna close out this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Please let me know what else you wanna see in the comments, what you wanna know. I'm happy to share. Yeah, I hope you guys liked it. It was really just like a literal week in my life. I just try to vlog as much as I can just to see how it would go. So you guys let me know how you like it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in next week's vlog.